Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Artistic Biker Live. How are you doing? Good Lord, it's been forever since we've had a show, and, and this is our first time broadcasting on Twitch, so we're going to see how it works out for us. We're not real sure. Uh, we've been doing this. This is our 10th year. This is the beginning of our tenth season. Can you can you believe that nonsense? I mean, look at this. Let me show you some. Let me show you some pictures here. This this is this is fun stuff here. Let me show you this. Ten years. Can you imagine? Look at these guys. He wasn't there. Look uh -huh. at these. Look at these pictures. It's oh, where'd the pictures go? If if only I'd been prepared in some fashion somehow. But you know that wouldn't be our style. Where is my Facebook folder? There is my Facebook folder. So here we are, 10 years ago. This is my little pink pirate from 10 years ago. This is what she was like when we started. Look at her. Look how tiny. Look how tiny and cute she is. Ew. Her so pretty. I miss those Converse though. Look at her now. She's like 10 feet tall and stuff. Oh. Right, she's like 6'6". Six, six. I'm not! I don't know. All I, when I look at her, all I see are nostrils. Okay. Look at this. Look at this one. Oh, Is it a little Dino? No, look at this one. It's not a Dino? Look at this one. Oh, oh it's so precious! Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, it's so precious! So we started the show in November, the first, uh, December. I'm sorry. Uh, dang it. October. The very first page. And the book is up there. And I could get it it's down. It's too tall! I could get it down, but I, I spent so much time stacking stuff in front of it that I didn't think about pulling it back up. So the very first page we ever did 10 years ago on the show, What's live, a was a Halloween show. And it was in October. And you can see there's a pocket, and in that pocket there's a, a card that I can pull out. And that picture is the, the, the pirate princess, the little, the little pink pirate. So that's the picture that's in that, that folder. And we may do we may do stuff like that again. But like I said, we've been doing I mean look at I mean look at the dog. <gasps> look how tiny she was back. She's flipping huge. Hang on, I'll show you. She she a giant now. Look at look how big she is now. Well, no. She's laying right here. That's not helpful. Why I want that turn? Okay. Because why would it? She a big pup. Look how big she is now, laying on top of a stack of papers that she knocked over. We gotta clean all that up. We we we've been saying this for weeks, months, years, years. Hey, we've hey been it saying. took us like an hour to clean this. Table. And I'm so proud of you. I've I've hired her. Yes, I've, I've been. I've hired, hired her as a as a as a, a lab assistant, uh, uh, a <laughs> studio studio assistant. So now she comes in. And she, she cleans the studio out for me, and she, uh, she vacuums my car. She takes care of the trash. She straightens things up. And she's got a few other chores. She's eventually going to enter my business cards when people give me business cards. As she's going to she's going to enter them on my my uh, uh, Salesforce program and stuff like that. But uh, she she got I've hired her to do all that stuff for me. Makes life so much easier when I take customers out of my car. So nice, and all the all the Cheerios are gone from under the car seat. You know, we spent years of her rubbing Cheerios into the car seat. That wasn't me. It that was, was him. Oh no, it was totally you. For the first five years. First four and five, a half. Five because four and a half. he didn't get Cheerios until five years into the game. So, anyway, so ten years we've been doing this, and every year this time of year we would make a brand new journal, and we would we would. Start off with with some pre-Halloween fall stuff, and that's awesome. And 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 I I really thought about starting off that way again, but I just have so many other things I want to do. I still want an art journal. I still want to do that. But see, I still have the art journal that we made last year. Is still what is this tissue? Somebody blew their nose. That's not handy. You. Ew. So the one that we made last year oh, is not problems. is not finished. My bass. There, there. Last week we did a page where I about died. I put that on the YouTube, and then uh, the other night I did a page because my little girl was playing her playing her bass at school, bass. and so I love listening to her play her bass. 
picture of me with a bass. So it's a picture of her with a bass. <laughs> a play on the spelling of the word bass, obviously. But so, but see the bass the, and bass is spelled the same way. But the book is not finished. I miss bones. And it's what probably it's probably not going to be finished for months and months and months. And so I didn't want to just stop. I mean, one year we glued all the pages together and just called it done and just made a new book. I didn't want to just stop. I want to keep. I want to keep working in this book, but I don't want to only work in this book. So what we're going to do is we we've, we've decided to work up a new format where uh, we're going to do different stuff every week. And I made kind of a calendar for myself, and maybe I should share my calendar somehow. But um, so like for me, doing which camera am I on? This one. Yeah. For, why aren't I on the one that looks at me? It's so much easier to look at the one that looks at me. So for me, <coughs> the stuff that I'm doing, like I, on Monday night I was painting, uh, I was doing little mini paintings, Monday night minis. Tuesday night I was going to figure drawing. Wednesday night I was doing watercolors. Thursday night I was doing the art journal. Friday night I was dedicating to, dedicating to faces. Saturday night I was dedicating to pen up or fine art. Uh, Sunday was dedicated to, to writing and organi organizing. But but what I found was is that it, it, it's easy to burn out like that. It's just it's just really easy to to burn out if all you do is just. I thought you were gonna draw. Apparently, I'm not. gonna draw on this and then paint it. Okay, but you get you get burnt out doing the same stuff over and over and over again. So what I decided to do instead, and not taking a break. So what I decided to do instead, <coughs> one, I'm removing the pressure. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's just that. There's no, there's no money involved in this. This is all for my fun and entertainment. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Two, I got it on rotation now. So Saturdays, I don't do anything if I don't want to do anything. Saturday's my rest day. I don't do anything on Saturday if I don't want to. So what we're doing now is one day we do, like Monday we'll do a mini painting, then we'll do figure drawing, and we'll do watercolors, then we'll do, uh, let's see, well I've got it written down here, uh, minis, figures, watercolor, fine art, and then faces and then art journal but at six on a five-day rotation because Sundays are still reserved for writing and so uh, that's that's six on a five-day rotation so what that ends up doing is on every Thursday night then it swaps out so one night I'll do an art journal one night I'll do a mini one night I'll do watercolor one night I'll do uh, f uh, fine art one night I'll do uh, a face you know and, it, and it'll swap out so we'll do something different every week or yeah, every Thursday, and I think that's going to be—I think that's going to be more satisfying for me, and I'm going to enjoy that more, and hopefully you will too. So with that, uh, that's our new format. Sorry. <clears throat> Aside from that, you're still in the same school. She's in a new school. Ten, ten years ago, when we started this, she had started at one school. She started pre-K at one school, and this year she's starting high school. So she's a she's a freshman in high school. He's a, and in college. He's a fourth grader. She is also dual she's enrolled, like so here. she's in college at the same time that she's in high school. When she graduates high school, she's going to have her associate's degree, and it's going to be a STEM degree. STEAM, if I am not saying the matter. I'll, we'll take some art classes. I would say STEAM. If we take some no art classes, if you take some art classes in the summer, you'll get... Some art classes added, and there'll be a STEAM degree. I don't need art classes. I get that at home. Yes, but you won't have any certificates that said you did it. Oh no! But he's a and he's a fourth grader. Can you believe? Can you imagine? He's a fourth grader. That's crazy. Yeah, many pictures of me. He wasn't born when was in he wasn't born when we started this. Can you show them the pictures that I was in? I can show you pictures of when you were born. I don't know if I have any of those. I don't have any of those pictures saved though. I had to go on Facebook and download those pictures because I've had three phones since then. I had to go on Facebook and download the pictures of her and this. So anyway, that's our new format. That's the new style. And so tonight falls on the category of lists. I'm sorry, tonight falls on the category of watercolor. And so I was going to show you, I was taking some classes with Anna Mason online. And one of the things she, one of the things I got from her and it, it really meant a lot to me, was she suggested, you know, get the best you can afford. And, and that's always been true. When you're buying tools and stuff, you get the best you can afford. So so she suggested you get the best watercolors and learn how to use them. And so I went out and I bought a full set of the 
best watercolors I could afford. My daughter fondly refers to them as her college fund. Because that's what you called them. Yeah, because my college fund. Yeah, this is her. She refers to these as her college fund watercolors, because you know each tube is like seven or eight dollars for an ounce. And that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it is when you're broke. I think some of these are twenty dollars an ounce. Gosh darn. Yeah, but it's all Windsor and Newton and the like. But it's the it's the professional watercolor grade. It's the professional grade. It's not the it's not the student grade or the or the hobby grade. It's the professional grade. So it has a whole lot more pigment. It has a whole it has better Can I binder. Have your scissors? Did you not hear I'm that sorry. I that I was talking? You say excuse me. You threw you just jump in there. Anyway, here you go. But uh, so I bought the good water. I, I I bought the good watercolors that. Uh, that, that she calls my she calls her her college fund, and then I was going to tonight I was going to paint on these mixed media journals because I have these things on subscription. I have a stack of these things, and I'm not going through them nearly as fast. I'm going to have to pause my my subscription to them. They just no, come in. I use them. Yeah, but I, we're not going through them fast. Enough. They just come in from Amazon. We get a new one every. I think we get a new one every month, and so we give them away as as birthday presents whenever whenever the kids have a have a friend that has a birthday we, we give them away as birthday presents and so uh, that and a little watercolor kit or drawing kit we collect uh, I don't I don't think I, I have I think one. it's at the very top it line. is I wonder if I can reach Here, it I can help. hang on a minute nobody needs to see me trying to reach it because <laughs> my luck my pants will fall that nobody needs to see that well, I got the drawing one, but it'll work. So we have these kits like this. This is this is a drawing one. There's a watercolor kit. This is, this is for the younger kids, and then there's a watercolor kit up there, and that and that. So we always have something whenever the kids run, whenever the kids come home and say, "Dad, Dad, Dad, so and so is having a birthday party. And they've invited me. Okay, it's tonight. Damn it." We're here, and we just have a gift already ready to go. We just stick it in a gift bag, wrap it in some art newspaper, in some art wrapping paper, and we're ready to go. Anyway, so I was going to use this to watercolor in, and then I went back to, well, you know, always, you know, use the good stuff. Get used to using the good stuff. And I have these watercolor pads that I like. This is this is Arches uh, 300 gram, 140 pound, uh, a watercolor uh, watercolor pad. And, what's that? I peeled the tape. I peeled the tape. I don't know what you're saying. I peeled the tape and it felt good. Uh, oh, this is going to be satisfying. You pulled the tape off your mask over there? Yeah. She's, you can't see. She's got some stuff going on over there. This is one of the few times she's actually working on the table so that you can see what she's doing. Yes, it's typically on my lap. Usually she pulls it over to her lap. Like last week, she pulled it over to her lap and nobody could ever see what she was doing. Mm. And then, Junior, where's Junior? There's Junior. Junior's making mountains. With the sun. Once upon a time in a land cup, fantasy. Let me tell the mountain streets so high. Sorry, getting my prints on. So, anyway, back to this paper. This watercolor paper has a glue around the edge. So the watercolor is... is This is a hot press. I like the smooth, I like the smooth surface of the hot press. But this block... It's a watercolor block. It's not just a pad. It's a block. It's it's pressed down hard, and then they glue the edges. And so it's stretched and it's pressed, and then they glue the edges. And because of that, if I can figure out how to open it. Yeah, can you help me never this? use it? Not this one. I've got one that's can open, open but I don't know. So, oh, why is this? So you open it up, and then here's a protective cover. Use a palette knife or a razor blade to just get in there. Just cut the glue. Just cut the glue on the page that you're going to use. I think I actually lost the sheet there, but I think we'll be all right. So, yeah. Did I lose a sheet? Yeah, there's a sheet. So this sheet came loose.
See now this sheet's loose, so it's not tied down, it's not stressed, and it's not pressed out. <coughs> it's not held in place. So if I add water to this and it warps a little bit, there's nothing to hold it in place. But so it'll only this is only good for as 140 pounds. But this other stuff behaves like 300 or 300 pound paper or heavier because it's it's pressed and held in place with glue. So I like this. I like working on this. I'm going to go ahead and use this sheet for tonight, though, just because this is kind of a fun night and I'm not. I'm not really pressed for anything tonight. And I've got the watercolors set up on a little plate. And the way I have them set up, I know my plate's messy. Everything about how I art is messy. But I wanted to show you this too because this I also learned this from Anna Mason on her on her uh, videos and on her classroom. She's got a she's got classes online. She has on her colors. You'll notice there's two there's two of the yellows. And from the yellow on one side, she goes from the yellow to the olives, around to the greens, to the blues, to the to the Payne's gray, to the to the purples, and then on the and 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 then comes around to the warms, and then she has another yellow on the warm side, and then she has her neutrals in the center. She has a gray, she has Payne's gray, she has a sepia, uh, sepia to burnt umber, are are in the middle. Uh, I don't know if that's sepia or yellow ochre to tell you the truth. I don't. Not, not sure I could tell the difference if I had to, but anyway, the neutrals are in the middle, and the and the reason they're, that it's set up like this is because <coughs> if you're going to add yellow to any of the colors over here, you want the yellow to stay cool. You don't want to mix a warm and a cool. And if you're going to add yellow to anything over here, you want to make sure that this that this doesn't have any cool colors mixed into it. So you're only mixing your warms into your warms, and in that way. Uh, you don't get you don't get the mud in the middle. Your your yellow doesn't end up looking like. Uh, where's that one? Hand me that one. Yes. Your yellow doesn't end up looking like this, where it has all the colors <laughs> mixed into it. This is what I this is what I normally sketch with when I go out in the world and sketch and, and watercolor. This is what I, this is what I normally take. The college fund stays here, except for that one. See, we've got this hand of yours, the one that you're, just hand me the ones you're using. This is the. I made this one up with her college fund also. The same way with the yellows on the warm with the yellow on the warm side and the yellow on the cool side. So we did it did it the exact same way. One of the things that always strikes me is the question, you know, what are you gonna draw? What what are you gonna draw? Just draw mountains. And and usually I have a, a, a list of things that I want to draw. Usually, I have I have a bunch of pictures on my on my phone that I've that I've selected to draw, and then, and then uh, every now and then, but every now and then I just come up with man, I just don't know. I just don't know what I want to do. I don't have a plan. I don't I don't really know what I want to do. So I went back to my beginnings what? Okay. with the everyday matters. I went back to my beginnings with the Everyday Matters list. And the Everyday Matters list, when I the first time I did it, only had a hundred things on the list. It was a hundred it was a hundred day challenge. And the first hundred items the first hundred items on there it was a drawing challenge. And I and it and it really you just for a hundred days you just draw what's on the list. Like day one, draw a shoe, draw a desk lamp, draw a purse, draw your draw your coffee cup, draw your bed. And and so what I did now the, the the everyday challenge list is now up to 328 numbers and so I took them and I divided the, the first hundred into uh, watercolors and then I divided the second hundred into uh, mini paintings and then I took the last hundred and I divide, divided them into to uh, to fine arts you know and so if I if if something jumps out at me to draw or paint then I obviously I will draw or paint that but if I can't think of anything else, then I will do the next thing that's on the list. And tonight, it's a shoe. So, that being said... Skizzers. Skizzers. I know, they're like fish with teeny tiny little hands. Hi, look at your little, look at your big monster hands and those teeny tiny little skizzers. I'm not picking on you. You're a freak. So, I'm not a freak! <laughs> you're, the, you're the only one in the house over six foot tall. I'm not over six foot! It seems like it to me. That's because you're Thank you, Mommy. Did, I'm sorry, did you just call me short? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, girl, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, where, where was I? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, APG. 
I see you, AP Art Spoiler Girl, Jamie Lynn just snuck in. Hi, hey, look, are you flooded out? I saw, oh no, wait, I saw that you're not flooded out, you're you're on an island. You can't go anywhere, but you're safe and warm and dry. Woohoo! Sounds like a plan. You, what do you mean you can only see me? I can only see you. You're the only one in the room I can see. I don't think the other viewer, I think the other viewer is me. So, that said, let me show you this shoe. Tonight Mom we won't let me have it. Tonight we're supposed to draw a shoe, and so we're supposed to. I'm going to watercolor a shoe, and so I told. Well, I walked up to the wife and I said, "I need a sexy shoe," and she says, "Where are you going?" And I said, <laughs> "I said, I said, well, I'm not really going anywhere, but you know, now that you ask." So she she loaned me her sexy her sexy heel shoe, and look at this thing. I love this, and this is. Uh, What's happened? Why is our camera like this? Mm -hmm. There we go. I zoomed in. I did. I zoomed in on that. I zoomed in on that plate. We'll go. So the shoe has bats. Bats on it. It's a Halloween shoe. I didn't know Mom had them. Oh, I didn't either. But now that's what we're gonna draw. And so I've got the shoes set up there with a with a light on it, and then I have a camera back here, so that you can see the shoe. There. 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 Um, and so, there. I'm going to draw that, and w real quick, just the light sketch, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna watercolor it. Can so. I have my white mixer? Your what? There's a mixer that I had. A mixer. The knife? Right there. This. Yeah, that kind of. The palette knife. Yeah. Okay. So when I draw this, I'm gonna use a a. a watercolor pencil and depending on whether I'm drawing something uh, depending on the overall color and feel of the, feel of the thing will, will determine what color watercolor pencil I use but most often I'm either using red, blue, or yellow because they're easy to mix back in with what we're doing. So I've got a red one because this this shoe is is, is uh, black and red so I've got, the, I've got the red watercolor pencil and that's what I'm going to draw the shoe with. I should have sent you my three journals. Double. We'll wait for the next time. Hey, well, APG, if you want to get something in on easel, we're going to do easels here. I'm going to do the I'm going to do the drawing, and I'm going to get the background in, and then we'll do. Uh, or I'm going to I'm going to get the uh, the base colors in, and then we'll do easels. So if you want to participate in what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel. And we will use your works to inspire other people to do works. There's time to, there's still time to get it in. Uh, it's probably going to be ten more minutes before we get to easels, but at least ten, at least ten minutes before we get to easels. So if you want to participate, uh, blade at artisticbiker.com with easel in the subject line, and we'll use your works to inspire other people to do stuff. So <clears throat> back to the shoe drawing. It's been a while since I've done a free drawing like this in in front of people. <laughs> and that is sad because I try to draw I try to draw every night. Mm -hmm. Well that's the goal, right? I mean every day I have a plan to draw uh hands and pinups and 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 stuff every night I have a plan. You just don't go through with it. Well, it's so easy to get distracted by things that, you know, nobody wants to practice. And, and you can't say anything over there, little girl, because I have to hound you to practice your bass. And you but love, that's a bass! And you love playing bass. Don't yell at me. But you love playing bass, and that's and I have to hound you to get you to play the bass. Is it? What's different about it? This is, art, that's a bass. this is art, and that's bass. And I have a reason that I don't want to practice my bass. Why is that? Because I already play it at school. Uh, I've already played it enough for a uh, day. I've already played it enough today. I don't have to. The class starts at 7:20, and you don't get out for like an hour. I have an hour to play on this instrument. I don't want to come home and play it. Do you hear there's a noise. It sounds like 
a high pitched whining noise. She's like, Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> she painted his cheek. It's <laughs> watercolor, you That's funny. Sorry for using your bucket, Dad. I don't care if you use my bucket. It's a community bucket today. Thank you. Community bucket. Okay, and about here. I'm going to need the blue one in a minute. You're going to need what here in a minute? The blue. The blue? Tell me about your day, buddy. How was your day at school today? Really good. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Recess. We got uh, to stay inside and I got to work on my uh, book. Your book? What book? Tell me about your book. Uh, I'm trying to create a book called Mythical Warriors. Yeah? So basically it's like Percy Jackson, but not that much. Mm. I got your sister's interest. She, she likes Percy Jackson. What I need to do now, if we're all going to be out here painting like this every time, I need to get Granny to sign in and run the cameras. I figured out how my mom can sign in and she can run the cameras remotely. much detail I want to put on this. But I think the little bats on her shoe are, are fun. So I want to make sure and get the bats. And then from there, this goes up and it's about right there. So from here, we're going to go this way and then this way. More like this and this, and then that goes that way, and then it goes down and around to there, and then you can see the back of that, but you can't see. Are you talking to yourself? Is that what you're doing? Me? What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's talking to himself now. Who? Me. Sure. Okay, now right straight across from there to there. We got like that. And then that goes like that. And then here's another bat. Yay, maybe she'll maybe she'll come out. I love when she comes out. Would you like me to go get her real quick? No, if she wants to come out, she'll come out. That means that is not coming down far enough that way. Okay. So there's that. And then what happens here? This does back this way to the inside of that just like that and that does that and it comes back like that and then there's a shoe and so there's ribbons in the shoes that go here can't talk parting Good thing going. Can I please use the blow dryer real quick? Yeah. This might be loud for a second, so you might want to turn down the video. You're so cute. Heat gun.
He got it. Let's look. Let's. I don't even know if I can compare them. Let's see if I can compare them just a little bit. Yeah. Close it's enough. Not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's close enough. So let's go back and let's get. Let's see what everybody else is doing here. Hold on, I'm peeling off the tape. Girl two's doing hair over there. I'm almost done for what? Oh, what's on the easel? We're almost there, son. I know. That's why I said I'm almost done. Where are you? I'm over here. You're way back here. There you go. Optins. With so, the sun in the cloud. Let me get this. Here you go. Hey, Linda Ray. I didn't see you sneak in. Um. Dad, can you pass the red? Red paint? Yeah. So, Linda Ray, what I gave up on was I gave up on... YouTube Live. This is going to go back up on YouTube, but I gave up on YouTube Live, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you the reason I gave up on YouTube Live was um, I couldn't play music. I had no control. If I did something, if I did something, it was immediately live. If a car drove by with a, a radio playing, it was immediately live. And what that did to me was it made it where. YouTube would hear the car radio playing in the background and would immediately uh, <clears throat> would, would would immediately uh, flag my video and make it where it couldn't play in the UK. And so because of that I decided that um, I decided that I didn't I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have another I wanted to have another place where I could play, and 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 not have to worry about cars driving by, and not have to worry about um, uh, traffic outside affecting my YouTube status, getting my video shut down, and and YouTube's going through some growth issues right now, where they're. They're having some struggles with the with the the, the children's laws, and they're having troubles with the. Um, I didn't draw the ribbons on the on the uh, straps. Oh yeah. Right. Anyway, so YouTube's going through a lot of changes. They changed the way things are monetized. They took away all of my points for monetization. They took away all of my uh, means of broadcasting live. They they kind of they kind of screwed me over. But I, it doesn't mean that I've given up on YouTube. It just means that and and it's not like they said well, we're just going to screw over Blade. I wasn't at I wasn't prepared for for the changes that they made when they made the changes. <clears throat> so it's not, I'm not saying that YouTube sucks, I'm saying that I wasn't prepared for it. And so here I am, 10 years later, still trying to find an audience. But the main thing is, is that, uh, the main thing is, is that if I go live on YouTube, then I, they immediately shut my videos down. Yeah, there's that too. They were they were fined a huge amount of money. So there's lots more changes coming. What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? Okay, so let's see. hit me in the face like five times. We actually have quite a, quite a few easels tonight. So let's start with. Um, do do do. Where did my email go? No, no, no. I believe. I believe I can fly. I I can did you did you send me anything? Okay, so I do have an old one from Pamela. This is back in uh, January, February, March, April. This is that tells you how long go how long it's been since we've we've had a show. So let me open that up and then make sure I'm on the right camera. No, of course not. There's the right camera. So back in April. This is the colored pencil of her daughter. I love you too, buddy. This is the colored pencil that she did of her daughter. So this is from this is from Pamela French, and this is her daughter. 
and this is their her daughter kissing a horse a stocking cap on that's really nice Pamela I wish we'd have shown this back in April but that's one that Pamela French sent in and then APG was going to send some if she didn't if she didn't get them in this week I know they're going to be here next week because she's already told me she she intended to send them so and then do him first while I do this show me what you got on your easel buddy um she is are you kidding me you couldn't show the drawings while I'm trying show to the this. other stuff that you've got going on kiddo I was just about to work on this what you got show me nothing in it but what do you mean there's nothing in it you had other stuff. You had stuff going on. You've Greek been, and Roman gods. You've been doing stuff. You ruined a Greek, perfectly good white brush. Greek and Roman gods. Keep drawing the same thing over and over. You'll get you'll get way better at it. So, so basically, yeah, let me see your mouth. She's. I got red paint on me. Yeah, it's wet, and you took it. There's going to be red paint on your thumb. You could have handed it to me in a way that. I handed it to you right like Okay. This. Take this. <laughs> no, not this. Take it. Y'all are silly. Ah! Ah! Okay. And then hand me that. Oh, and this is also another one that I did. And who did yesterday. the black with yellow spots? Him. Me. All my stuff's upstairs in my room. So this is him. Um, Snap, you doing both? And this is him. He stole my they're, they're just out here. He did not steal your canvases. He did this up there. And then girl. Two. Da, da, da. He careful. went into my room and took pictures. I did. I went into your room and took pictures. I have to be careful though because There's some clothes. of my some of my pictures are not. Did you find clothes? Huh? Did you find clothes? Clothes. Yeah, like on the floor. Did you take anything with like clothes on the no, floor? No, I, I tried not to do that. Okay, good. So <laughs> she's been busy. She's been busy. She's been painting all kinds of stuff. See, it isn't coffee. It is too. And she's working on faces. I, I can't paint faces. I can draw, but well, I can't paint them. You, the reason you can't is because you said say I you can't. can't. And then the one on top of that, my friend gave me. Really Trees. Cool. Somebody else painted that one. It's for so me. pretty. And then look at this sunset over here. Oh, I like this one. I'm proud of this one. Yee. And the moon. She's just been painting up a storm. We went to uh, Michael's. Michael's was having a BOGO sale. Buy one, get one sale. BOGO! I got a, ref I got a light reflected. I'm trying to avoid. But Michael's was having a BOGO sale. There, I think I got it. And so we bought uh, tons and tons and tons of canvases. Mm -hmm. Ooh, do oh, the abstract thing. Wait, let's, let's show he copied all the me. canvases. And then here's her. Abstract! Abstract shapes. Just getting what she copied. <laughs> APG said it looks good, red thumb and all. No, he didn't copy. He just did it in one in, in a similar style. The shapes don't even match up. Uh, he just did it in a similar wait, style. Red thumb. And what? you and oh. you because I had paint on my thumb. Oh. And you didn't invent it. Mm. And look, there. That's ten years ago. I did that. I I'd do it again. Maybe maybe it'll look be just a little bit better. Hey, Dad, I don't know. Four canvases. Five. Over here. And then now I have been doing. Do do do. Where'd they go? Okay, here. Canvases. Oh wait, I had some. I haven't. Sketchbook. I haven't done any canvases. I had two more sketchbook on mine. She says those look like paintings in a children's book. Wait, which one? Mine. It's yours. She says oh. that means she thinks they're good. They look illustrative. Woo. So I've been doing hands. I've been trying to do hands. Let's see. Our last show was in April. This is all July. Oh yeah, you didn't show that one. I'm proud of this one. This one's really. Pr I'm proud. She's proud of that one. I'm very proud. You should be. It's the first time I did watercolors and it actually looks good and not our, like a blob. Our very first watercolor that doesn't look like a blob. Woohoo! So I've been working on hands. Hands, 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 My hands, pinups, hands, hands, pinups. Mostly pinups. Mostly pinups. Pinups, hands, pinups, hands, hands. 
I've been working on faces. Pan ups. Faces. Pan ups. And so, was it last week I decided to, to watercolor a couple of things. There was a face from last week. And then, nightly, Monday I did a snail for a mini. And then I've been trying to do a pinup every night. And I've started doing them in the little book again because when you do them in the when you do them in this book it takes it takes longer. You have to have more time dedicated to do this. This this takes about an hour to do in in this book. But if you do them in this book, it only takes 20 minutes or so. And so uh when did I start? I started back on the 11th of September on a Wednesday because that's a hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. So, and then I think I've been I think I've been almost almost every night since then. I've done one. No, can't have been. Well, yeah. No, I missed a, I missed a few nights there. But the this because that was a Wednesday again. So the biggest change though is that if I don't do it, I don't beat myself up over it. It's just I'm doing this for my. I'm not. I have no intentions of being a famous painter at this point in my life. This is something. I, this is something I aspire to retire to, and enjoy. And so, that's what was on your easel. That's what was oh, on geez, my easel. Did you do this? Yeah. If, if you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel, and we will use your works to inspire other people, because that's the whole reason we're here, is to inspire people. So, that said, let's get back to this. Tell me more about this book you're writing in class, kiddo. Um, basically, it's about a elf warrior who didn't mean to become a warrior. His name is Leon. You have managed to make my watercolor water red. Sorry. Leon. It's pink. This yeah. Is, this is not my brush. It's mine. <laughs> These are all mine. Why is why is it in the water? Uh, it's red. <coughs> but, um... Turkey. <laughs> but, Just, um... Keep going. His best friend, Billy, wanted to play a game. So, turns out, they got themselves into a real war. Oh no. Liam thought it was actually a real game. Billy just thought it was fun. Huh. Until Liam almost died. <clears throat> there was a movie like that in the 80s called. Uh, so it's basically based off of Percy Jackson. Gotcha. I'm not trying was, to copyright. What was the name of that movie in the 80s? Did you just break something? No. What was the name of that movie in the 80s? Um. But this is what Liam would look like as soon as I fill in the hair. I would you like to I play made a, a game? few adjustments to him. But, um, this is him, basically. Yeah, okay. If you want to show it. Okay, hang on just a second. Yeah, I gotta color in his eyebrows real quick. Give me about a minute. Okay. Or something. Can't talk, Arting. Same here. But you were just talking. I was talking, but now I'm thinking. But um, 
but now I'm trying to think. This is... Uh, is this a good... This is Liam. There's a couple marks from what I used... What I started to draw of him, but I kept on making the head shape wrong. But this is what he turned out to look like. Huh. Good job. You're welcome. Thank you. Linda says she worked 12 hours today, and she's having a real she's having a real hard time finding finding time to dedicate to making art. And trust me, I feel your pain. I truly do, because uh, I'm all I want to do is sleep. That's that seems to be all I all I ever want to do anymore is just sleep. Oh, yes. And oh, and every time every time I get home, that's that's all I want to do is just lay down. And sleep. The kids want to go do stuff, and I, I'm just having the hardest time finding the energy to do anything at all. And, and it, and I think it stemmed from overloading my plate. And I was reading a book. The art. Uh, what was the name of the book? the The premise was was the premise was saying no, learn to say no, and it's the hardest thing in the world for me. Like when my boss comes to me and says, I need you to do something. Can you work overtime? No. No, I can't. I can't do that. I mean, I want to be a good team player and be a good be a good employee and stuff, but uh, I have family at home, and so I need to go home. And it's been the hardest thing for me to do is say no, but it is the one thing that I really, really need to do. Next. What, son? Like you just started to talking while I was talking. What What do you want to say? Nothing. We want to hear what you have to say, but you've got to, you've got to get our attention. It's nothing. Why do you think what you have to say is not important to me? Why would you think that? Huh? I forgot what I was going to say. You forgot what you were going to say. Kiddo. You don't have to be that way around me. You can talk to me. All right, now let's see. I think that shadow is a gray. I mean, the the reflective part is more of a gray. So it's a whole lot lighter. Payne's gray. Let's just go over the whole. Let's just go over the whole shoe and see what happens. We've got some other black areas to fill in, but I want to get these big areas filled in before I start moving to the smaller brush. But I feel your pain on that whole feel your pain on that whole um, not having energy to do stuff after a long day. My days start at 4 because I have to see what the people in India are doing before I can... And so by 7 o'clock I'm, I'm pretty much done. That's that's pretty much all I'm good for on the day. I'm trying to move fast enough that I can not get too many lines from a drying. But honestly, I don't care about that as much as I care about getting the colors in the right places. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Maybe it'll turn out nice. Maybe you'll even be able to tell what it is. Who knows? The point is to have some fun doing it. And to not be afraid to do it. Right? 
that's our that's the point is to have fun and not be afraid of it we're not afraid of messy lines we're not afraid of we're not afraid of mistakes we're not afraid of people seeing what we're doing because this is just our fun and if someday you want to go pro with it we'll power to you if you've had enough fun and you want to go pro well, that's good too that's just not not where I am in life trying to get the knots of the darker spots but they're not as dark as the darkest darks not as dark as the darkest darks that sounds like a Dr. Seuss that sounds like a Mr. Rogers it does sound like Mr. Rogers. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about the Mr. Rogers movie coming out. Me too. And so is your wife. And and so's my wife, that's right. So is my wife. This is Liam. Is that Liam? Hold on. Can't talk, Harding. You said that five times now. You can never say it too many times. All right, now let's see here. We need some of this metal color here that I made up earlier. A little burnt sienna, a little Payne's gray, a touch of red. Let's fill in some more on that bat. feel like I'm probably going to have to come back in with it with something fine lines I don't think I don't think anybody's going to recognize that as a bat if I don't come back in and redo the fine lines but that's okay because I like to do that anyway and we didn't get the bottom of this strap or this strap or the belt loop part. So I don't know how detailed that's going to that's gonna end up looking. But again, you know, how detailed do we want it? Because you can spend hours doing this hours and hours and hours you can spend doing this the only difference between Liam and Billy are there two different types of mythical creatures are they? yep because elves are mythical creatures and so is what Billy is what's Billy? You'll see. I'll see. But Billy is not enough. I need a line brush. 
Do I even do I even own a line brush? Ooh, I do. I have some brand new line brushes. This would have been a great opportunity to break out my line brushes. I'm kind of liking what's going on there. I don't, know if, I don't know if I need a line brush. Night, Linda. Once you start getting into these tiny brushes, you can spend a long time, a long, long, long time messing with it. And I don't know that that's where that that's really want to where really where I want to go. I really think I just want to get pretty close. But I do want a tinier brush so that I can get in on that back. Oh, you need a tinier brush? Oh, I have tinier brushes, so that's one of the things I was going to break yeah. out right here. Uh, I've got a tiny brush. Tiny brush. It's like super thin. Like super can thin. I show it real quick? Yeah. This is the brush. Tiny she, brush. This is the brush he's trying to get me to use, and that would be a very good brush. A tiny brush. Okay, that tiny brush is tiny, better than my tiny brush. Tiny brush. Yeah, actually, yours has got a long... This is good for making long, straight lines. Yeah. So let's get some more of this. Let's mix up some more of this metal color. It actually sounds like metal. Yeah. Let's come in here with this bat. a little bit like a bat. I'm not I'm not too I'm not too particular right now. I'm not making it look too much like a bat. Ah the problem with these little brushes is they pick up too much water. And because they're tiny Water doesn't shake off of them. Capillary action. I think we're doing all right here. Let's see this one. I want this brush again. This isn't near dark enough over here, so I'm going to come back in here. Darken this in.
I don't want that to be my darkest dark by any stretch of the imagination. And because it's shiny, you have to remember, shiny has... Shiny stuff has... Uh, reflective stuff has sharp lines. So, when you have a reflection, the reflective lines are sharp. Like that right there. Now, what do we do for a background? We leave the background white. What do we do about a background? has red hair and Liam has blue hair. Seth, right? Yep. Cool. So basically, Billy is a fire archer, also known as a bow and arrow thing. Where do you Whatever get, people... Where does this come from? Imagination. Fire archer. Oh, I take Pokemon fire type? And then add an archer to it. Wait, what's an archer? One who shoots bows and arrows. Okay. I knew it was something like it. But, um... Basically, all that I did was just really... Take fire from Pokemon types. Yeah. And add archer to it. Yeah. So it's a fire archer. And Liam is a water sword fighter. Can't talk, Harding. And you were just talking just a second. That was forever ago. Let me keep up. ages ago. I don't know. Do we want to change? Do we want to set a different background here? This is not... There's no... That's not there. What is that? What do we do there? That needs to be... This needs to go all the way up to there. Those two colors should pretty much run into each other. do you think we should have for a background? Blue? Red. I don't know that. Well. <laughs> hand me the the small watercolor kit. Yeah. The Koi. This is the Koi kit. Thank you. This will make the whitest white. This will make the whitest white on our shoe look whiter. So if we have anything that's going to stand out or sparkle, and I may end up having to add some gouache to this to get my white, to get my highlights back. I may have 
I may have obscured my highlights. But that's okay. Because again, everything I do here right now is something we're kind of learning together. Hoping she'd come out and give us a teacher update. Oh. That went a long ways towards adding the bringing the highlights out, didn't it? We may not need the gouache. So let me dry that real quick. See how it's bowing up? See how see how it's curling up right there? If it were still if it were still affixed, if I hadn't torn that off to begin with, um, that wouldn't be an issue right now. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be curling up. So Yeah mom. Oh, fish sticks again. Cool beans. Hold on, Mom. So let's add some highlights. We're going to add just a highlight right there, and a highlight right there, and a little bit of a highlight across there. Not too much. We want we want white to be we want the white to be shocking. If you add too much highlight, then it'll dull it. So we don't we don't want to we don't want to dull it for sure. For sure. So we're just gonna add just a few few little few little sparkles here and there. There's some gouache. Since my since I wasn't able to preserve that highlight when I started. What buddy? Uh, I was working on them. I just had to finish the medium. Okay. And I'm done with What time is it? Eight o'clock. Like so I'm gonna call this one done. I could spend I could spend another hour or so on this, but for a watercolor sketch, I think we're pretty much there. What I'm trying not to do, what I really want to do is I want to come back with my ink brush and I want to go around and I want to add more detail. I want to get in there with a little bitty fine brush and add more stuff, but but I, I really think that the more I mess with it now, the the more I'm just going to obscure what I've got. And I kind of like I kind of like what I've got. So the only thing I don't think that red on the inside Done. Is really standing out. Hold on. Dang, I almost knocked it down. Big canvas mountain. If you turn around, 
down and look towards the beat, you will see Canvas Mountain. Alright. Basically all that I did was just make a stack of canvases. All right, now I'm calling it done. All right, now I'm calling it done. <laughs> Thank you, APG. I love my ink brush. I don't know if I've ever told you how much I love my ink brush, but as much as I liked my, uh, this is the this is the ink brush that I've used, and I've used this one for years and years and years, and I really love my little ink brush here. But I actually picked up a Pentel ink brush that is also a very nice ink brush. This is one. This is a little koi water brush that I filled with ink and I I've, I've been using it for years and years and years to to in places to get my blackest blacks. I'm not going to do it on this watercolor because I really really want to. I'm not going to. But this Pentel brush, this I'll show you on the pinups. What do I do with the pinups? Let me show you. It lets you get from the fine lines to the heavy lines so that you can vary the weight so that you can add you can add shadow you can add weight to the line so that where you want it to be heavy you can make it heavy where you want it to be where you want it to be light you can leave it light so you can use you can get you can vary the line quite a bit you can get a nice thin line and you can get some nice heavy lines so you can show which side which side the light shine on, just using the very just using the variability of the of the paint of the of the brush pen. And I and I, I'm I was almost remiss in telling you I, I almost failed to tell you how much I love my brush pen. But I really can't let an episode go by without talking about how much I love my brush pen. But anyway, guys, that's what that's really what I wanted to show you tonight. I think it's a good start getting back into the swing of things. The kids have already run off. Uh, which, camera am I on? Yes. I think it's a good start considering that we haven't we haven't really done a show since April. Um, so next week let's look at the rotation. Where are we? If I did a watercolor tonight that would have been Wednesday. The next week we'll work in the journal because that's what the yeah wait no. What is today? Was today the 19th? Mm-hmm. Next week's figure. Okay, so next week's figure. That's right. So we're gonna do we'll do some figure work next week. Maybe I'll be nude. We'll, we'll have to see how that works out. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me. You know this is my favorite night of the week when I get to when I get to uh, art with my besties. Uh, I look forward to it every week. Be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time. Let me know what you think about the Twitch format. Uh, same artistic biker time. Same artistic uh, channel. So and then we dance. And we dance until the lag catches up with us so that we know that everybody has seen the lags. And the email, don't forget the email, blade at artisticbiker.com for easels. Thank you guys so much. Peace out. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.